Hello everyone, so in today's episode I'm cleaning my airbrush and also we will have a quick look at this airbrush cleaning set from Banggood. If you already have similar maintenance kit, this video will help you to use it correctly and if not, it will help you to decide if you really need one. So this airbrush maintenance kit contains color changing pot with plastic lid and filter. Detachable airbrush holder Two spare filters One nozzle cleaning needle Selection of different size cleaning brushes And cleaning rods of different sizes so I start cleaning procedure with flushing any old paint leftovers from color cup. I add a bit of airbrush cleaner and flush it into color changing pot. Plastic deflector inside the pot helps to prevent any kind of backlashing or splashes. Later I clean exterior and start disassembly. First, I remove handle, then I remove nozzle cap and nozzle itself. So now needle is exposed and you must be very careful. I'm releasing needle clamp and forcing needle from back to front. It is always better to remove needle this way, because you don't want to introduce paint into the trigger system. After needle is removed, I'm removing trigger spring. And now we can remove trigger itself. My airbrush also has removable color cup. As you can see, I'm not touching air valve system, because if you are using your airbrush correctly, it should be clean anyway. If you take closer look at nozzle cleaning needle, you will see that shape is not unified. This will help needle to act as a scraper, so you must be very careful. Without using any excessive force, I'm putting nozzle onto the needle. And then I'm rotating nozzle around the needle to scrape any dirt inside. Make sure to not force needle inside the nozzle, because it is very easy to damage it. Later I'm cleaning airbrush needle itself and pay attention on wiping direction. If possible, I'm trying to not use cleaning brushes and instead just using something a bit more soft. If paint is very dried out and hard to remove, cleaning brush set is very straightforward to use. So now you might be questioning about usage of these cleaning rods. These are actually not very recommended to use, because they can scrape inside of your airbrush. But sometimes if paint inside is very dried out and very hard to remove, you can use it as a solvent penetration rod. As you can see, I'm feeding some cleaning agents inside. After airbrush is cleaned, it is time to assemble it. So first I install trigger. 
There is also one optional step, and that's lubricating through your system. For that, I'm using silicon lubricant for CD drives. Later follows trigger spring and spring tensioner. When airbrush is clean, you can feed needle through the front. Feeding needle from the other side will greatly increase risk of damaging tip. Pay attention, at this stage I'm not tightening needle clamp. When nozzle is secured, you can finally tighten needle clamp. So that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching and see you soon.